My name is uh, Varvara Guleva. I'm originally from Estonia and work together with Marc Canet uh, as an artist duo. I am Marc Canet and I'm from Barcelona. And we are showing uh, binacles to binacles from. It's a telecommunication art project uh, where we connect cities, but in a very particular way. We got inspired by the um, touristic panorama binacles, what actually every city has. But of course we want to twist the idea, so we did the physical object, which is inviting to look inside and see different cities. The concept is pretty sincere and uh, simple actually, that uh, we wanted basically to create real-time windows between the cities. And then in the moment that just put his face in the pinnacle, like a let's light up, and then he see the picture of one city, and then he has the button that he could switch to another city. And it's very fun, but at the same time, then the viewer is being observed by the other people. Because as a trade-off, uh, their eye will get recorded and will travel to the place what they are looking at. Uh, so it's coming into the play the concept of surveillance that uh, now is very actual. Now in this ludic way actually people can see the observer. Changing the scale of the public space, bringing inside this urban context something very intimate and, uh, and fleshy, but eventually uh, not making explicit which kind of interest they're having when looking, whether it's surveillance, whether it's tourism, whether it's playful. You know, most of our cities are completely full of surveillance cameras. Um, so bring attention to the fact that we're, of course, being looked at and not just looking. And it also makes a bit of an interplay with the whole notion of the tourist binoculars that you'd have at the top of the mountain or looking out to sea, that you're looking out to some kind of great vista. But in actual fact, in this occasion, all you're really looking at is either someone else's eyeball, which is a cipher for yourself. So it's a very ambiguous but uh, intense way of approaching this uh, idea of connecting two cities and two public spaces. Public spaces, I think, is a very rich uh, area of uh, playfulness for the artist because uh, it's not like in the um, in the museum where the, the audience is, is kind of prepared. But in public space, it's much rich and much uh, danger also, because you cannot control all the things, but at the same time, you get fresh audience where it doesn't, it doesn't know that what is coming to see. Many projects coming from first experiments, like a hole in space in the 80s, which were using a, a satellite TV channel to connect different audiences. But here there is this uh, uh, dual relationship between observer and being observed. Then also we like the concept that it's so scalable, that it's so doable to do in so many different places, over all these boundaries in all these countries. So it's a very good uh, project to get with this point of uh, networking the city with each other. It's very interesting to see how uh, the people of Dessau are interacting with the artistic scenarios which are networked to other cities. They really stand in a queue and uh, watch through the binoculars to other venues of our uh, connecting cities and uh, start to interact with the observing eye at uh, the projection wall of the Bauhaus. And people are really like... Uh, <laughs> Like in Helsinki, one woman said, I, have, I pass here every day and this is something new. <laughs> this is something new, this is, this is something unusual. <laughs>